What's up, Supernatural Mamas, and welcome back to another episode of Supernatural Childbirth and Pregnancy. As promised, this is going to be my what's in my hospital bag video, but this is very much so a first time a mom hospital bag. I'm highly aware of it. I know that I overpacked, but I am an overpacker by nature. I live by the saying that I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So that is my mindset with packing for anything. I could be going on an overnight trip and pack three outfits just because I like to be prepared for anything that can happen. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any other questions and or tips. So yeah, enjoy. Let's get started. If you are anything like me, you're going to get started with a huge suitcase. You want to start off with nursing bras and your undergarments. Two different going home outfits. So I brought like some stretchy pants and just a plain maternity top. I found these, or I did not find these. My mother bought me these awesome um, nightgowns and they are breastfeeding friendly. So this is another nightgown, but it also comes mommy and son with the matching blanket and hat little nightgown with a matching blanket and a hat so that we can take pictures in this and have like a nice mommy and son breastfeeding cloth all right ladies house shoes to walk around and you want to have something easy just to slip your feet in to walk around in the hospital and something comfy fuzzy robe this one's really long it goes down to my knees I found this on Amazon um, I think it was probably about $10, maybe a little bit more than that. But yeah, just a nice comfy robe. I didn't have any fuzzy robe, and so I bought the matching blue slippers to go with that. Flip-flops. These are just old, raggedy flip-flops. But these are going to be used for when I take a shower. Cute little toiletry bag. I got a portable toothbrush, chapstick, deodorant. I wear glasses, so I need to bring contacts. So I have contact solution. Keep that skin moisturized, ladies. A lotion. This is gonna come in handy. This is nipple cream for breastfeeding. Definitely, definitely pack this. I heard that this is a jewel, so if you do not have this in your bag, make sure you pack it. Then I have some hair ties. All that cute little carrying case that I found. This is one of the things that I know that I'm probably overpacking because the hospital provides you with pads. But these are some of the women's like Depend underwear. I just packed a few of them into a Ziploc bag. I know that the hospital supplies it, but again, I'd rather be prepared than not prepared. So just in case, maybe I don't like theirs or it's not as comfortable, I did pack some of my own as well as some um, maxi pads of my own as well. So I also packed tons and tons of these disposable nursing pads. Um, I had a lot of different like samples and stuff like that so I just packed a lot of these. I also have a mini diffuser that I bought. This We found this on Amazon, I think it was like $15. It's a really cute, really small diffuser. For the room, I'm going to diffuse lavender, um, Clarion Sage helps, fennel helps with the production of your breast milk. But while while I'm going through labor, I'm going to be diffusing lavender into the room. And so I wanted to have a diffuser. These are the oils that I'm using, essential oils that I'm using that I'm going to diffuse, like I said. Um, Clary Sage helps with the production of your breast milk as well as fennel. And then this is the lavender. Because I'm having a water birth, I need floaties. So I found this, I found this three pack of floaties on Amazon for five bucks. These are 20 inch rings and I think that these are perfect. I was gonna get the 36 inch rings I believe, but I feel like those would have been too big. These are the 20 inch rings. So if you are a person who's having a water birth and gonna be birthing in a small tub, um, I recommend the 20 inch rings. This. A little fishnet. <laughs> Again, we found this on Amazon. I believe it was $4. Uh, but yeah, so this is because I'm having a water birth. My husband uses this to catch anything. 
that shouldn't be in the water. We have a blanket for him. I also packed three of or four of these like little flannel blankets, but make sure that you're washing all of their stuff before you pack it into the bag. So I washed all his blankets. So I'm just taking a few of these, although I'm pretty sure the hospital does provide blankets. Again, I like to be prepared. Our diapers and wipes. So here I go with the bags again. I washed all of his clothes and then I separated them by size so this is going to be three month clothing just in case he is a little chunker he can't fit into the newborn I have zero to three months there are just some socks and hats and onesies in here the bag just full of newborn onesies I have some bibs in here um, and just some zip up onesies also I did read online that hospitals prefer that you do the button up ones just because it's easier for them to be able to change their diapers so i also not only put up put in zip up onesies but also button up onesies in there as well <laughs> i'm the extra mom he has a little garment bag which i need to put a hanger on but this is his going home outfit um and then again i did pack another one that's a little bigger this one i think is newborn um so i put it in his little garment bag it says hello I'm new here and it has like a cute little outfit so then I also have a little baggie for him things that he may need a pacifier I don't really plan to give him a pacifier but just in case we do need it we'll have one some aquaphor for his bottom and we're also planning to get him circumcised at the hospital so this is gonna help um, heal his little private parts I'm so sad about this I also packed hand sanitizer. I know that we're going to be in the hospital and they probably have hand sanitizer, but just in case for people that come to visit, I wanna have my own. A folder. You say, what do you need a folder for? In the hospital, you are going to get paperwork after paperwork and birth certificates and all this other stuff. So I wanna have a folder to be able to keep everything in. Not only that, but I have stuff that I need. So I have copies of my birth plan here. Um, that I'm going to give to the hospital. If ladies, I do recommend writing a birth plan um, and then making sure that you're printing it out so that you can give it to your doctors and they can look it over. I also have a journal because I love to write and I love to journal and I don't want to forget any of this experience. So if I have downtime, downtime, <laughs> um, in between whatever, however many days I may be at the hospital, whatever, um, or if I'm up at night and just want to journal, um, I have the opportunity to do that. And then I'm also bringing my Supernatural Childbirth book, um, just because there's prayers and things in there um, that I may want my husband just to uh, declare over me or pray over me or things that I want to remember. Um, and so I'm also bringing that as well. And then I am um, also have a copy of my insurance card there. I heard that you need to bring your boppy. The boppies are important for breastfeeding, helping you with the baby, um, and also just giving the baby a place to lay down. Lastly, one thing that cannot fit in the bag, but that I'm bringing is my body pillow. Um, a lot of people were saying that it's important to bring your own because the hospital doesn't provide you with that many pillows and or they're not that comfortable. So I am bringing my very large body pillow. And yes, that is it ladies. That is all that is in my hospital bag. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. For the people who are like me, just know that you're not alone. The overpackers in the world. <laughs> and for the other, uh, other side of people who are like cringing at all the stuff that I packed. So thanks again for watching. Love you guys.